Hey, what up everybody? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's Double Shen Show commenting on your comments. First one ever! Woo! Is it first one ever? First one ever, bro! Okay. Well, we All wanted right. to do this for a long time, guys. Um, so we're gonna try to do this regularly for you guys. You guys leave a lot of great comments and thank you all to those who leave comments. And if you haven't, leave us a comment sometime. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just basically talk about your comments. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the first video is um, our latest one, which is the whitewashing of Ghost in the Shell. And uh, that one got a lot of comments. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's get into it. All right, first one. Takashi Onagi says, no, is that a Onage? <laughs> it's Kakashi Onage. Isn't that the- Because uh, that is Kakashi. Isn't that the, uh, the, yeah, uh, the, the, the show, Naruto? Yeah, right? Kakashi, it's, look, Kakashi. Kakashi, okay, yeah. sorry, I don't watch it. I've, I've, I've seen right. two episodes, I'm like, I don't like Do you wanna know much. something weird? What? My girlfriend has a crush on Kakashi. Currently, Isn't he like right a now. Kid? No, the the old the, the teacher, oh, the sensei. How do you have a you have a crush on? She, she thinks crush she, on him. Yeah, she thinks he's like. Don't they all look the same? Don't don't all anime characters kind of look no, the no, same? No, no, he's no, he's kind of like he, he's he hot. All right. No, you don't see his face. She likes his she likes his she likes his like coolness, personality. Yeah, and oh, you know what's even weirder? I got a little bit jealous when she told oh, me that. Yeah. Yo. Yo, you got jealous over an anime character? Yo, but you don't understand. Look inside on that, bro. Yo, she, she, okay, she watches Naruto a lot. Yeah. I'm like, you're spending a lot of time watching Kakashi. Anyways, um, Kakashi Onage. Well, lucky for you, Kakashi can't just come and just take her away. I hope not. Maybe he can. I'm not sure. Anyway, Kakashi says, I'm just, just like Mike. I only want to watch happy animes and the ones that make me feel so feel good. So gore too much, so gore too much nudity, all of that other dark stuff, no way. Thank you! Yeah. I don't like stuff that are, I don't like, you know how many shows I stopped watching because it just got too, a little too much for me? Did, did you stop watching Titan? Yeah, I did. Because, because it was a little it, too graphic for me. Too, for me too. Um, I stopped watching like Vampire Diaries because, that one, no seriously, I, I read the books, the Vampire Diaries books in high school. They were very nice books, they are very clean, very PG. Then the show comes on and it was like, Someone sleeping with someone else, and this person with the other person. I'm in the like, anime, they're no, like, no, this is flying the show. Man. Oh, the show, the show, okay. Vampire <laughs> Diaries. Oh, Come Vampire on. Diaries, yeah, Bro, yeah, the, the American program. show, the American show, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, it's too much for me. I can't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. They'll call me old fashioned. I don't like a lot of the stuff in there. I like things that make me feel good. Yeah. I like shows that make me feel like the world is still a good place. So that's just me, and apparently Kakashi as well. So thank you. Yeah, Naruto's good. It's kind of disturbing though, guys. Don't watch too much Naruto. Really? Yeah, it's a little disturbing. All right, Samuel Ko. Samuel Ko says, that being said, there really needs to be more opportunities for Asian Americans to be positively represented in the American media. This was a great chance, but what's done is done. So I got I got to do a little rant, okay? Because I, re I read through all of the, I read through like two, three hundred. I couldn't read anymore. <laughs> wow, okay. I couldn't read anymore. Um, People, some, most people were, you know, like everybody in the media and what we're talking about, about, you know, criticizing the move, right? There are a few people that basically were defending it and the way they were defending it, they were really nitpicky about certain stuff. So my thing is Sam, J Samuel just hit it on the head. Guys, you're missing the point if you're defending minuscule things. The point was this movie was a great opportunity for Hollywood to put in a uh, Asian actress. Mm -hmm. I'm, look, there's tons of movies that get made that, yeah, it's based on an Asian story, and you know they don't. Okay, fine, we don't. I don't really care. But this is the one, one of the major chances, and they didn't do it. That's why, for me at least, it's an issue. And over the years, also, when you look at really egregious errors made, you know, like what's the uh, the Moses story? Um, come on, God, versus... God, God's an Exodus. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Versus... Uh, yeah, God, God versus the. I don't, but come on, right? Stuff like that. So I, I like kind of Samuel summed up some this whole thing up. It was an opportunity, they didn't take it. So a lot of the nitpicky stuff is just. Ugh. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Some mm -hmm. comments were like, well, Maggie Q would be a horror. I'm like, I'm just giving examples. It doesn't have to be Maggie Q. It could be anybody. Constance Wu, whatever. Michelle Bolin says, uh, 
My husband and I love this genre of anime. We are the classic American family and are up in arms at this idea. We bought and still have the movie on a VHS tape in the early 90s. We refused to see this movie. It's disgusting how Hollywood is ruining good, great movies by not following the original script lines. So many amazing Asian actors could uh, rock this movie. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Even like there was that panel, right? There was a panel of Asian American act actresses, um, actors, actresses. I think Kansas Su was on that panel. I think uh, who else was? Uh, I forgot. Okay. A bunch yeah. of different. Yeah. Um, and then Constance Wu spoke out about this. She was saying yeah. kind, of, kind of like, kind of like what you were saying. It's like this could have been a great thing for. Right. But they decided to go the other way. And there was right. there was someone else defending um, Hollywood's decision, saying, well, in in Asia they sometimes you know they use Asian actors like. Uh, that, yeah. Can 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 white people go to Asia go to Asia and speak Chinese <laughs> to the audiences? Like, I mean, it's kind of not the same thing, right? right you right, don't right. really have a lot of choices there. Right. You got you're just trying to make a movie in the native language right you know what i'm saying and, and it's interesting because this is um it's a western family yeah right M michelle michelle bolin uh i actually also own the i love ghost of Shell so much i have the original vhs tape it probably has a lot of dust on it and also another thing is too like you know we mentioned chinese american actresses here here's the other thing too the reason there's after after we did the story i found uh I did give the suggestion about the Japanese actress. I found out her name, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Tao uh, Okam Okanomo or Okamato or whatever. So here's the thing, right? The reason these names are not at the top of our heads for Japanese actresses is the very reason that we're talking about. Hollywood or big movies don't showcase them. No. If Think about why, okay, Maggie Q, Lucy Liu, they have been uber famous at one point. They have been in Hollywood movies. That's why we know them. So again, this is a chance for Hollywood to bring somebody in so in the future we won't be scratching our heads saying like, oh, the girl from Wolverine or the girl from Pacific Rim. We would know, you know, their names are Tao or Rinko or Yuki or whatever, right? That's what I like to see. No, I, I agree, I agree, so, I agree. All right, Jay Panda says, man, Akira, I hope they don't touch that. I really hope they don't touch Akira. Um, I have, I have to break it to you guys. Uh, Warner Brothers bought the rights. The rights, just like Ghost in the Paramount bought the rights to Ghost in the Shell, uh, Warner Brothers bought the rights to Akira back in 2012, and they are planning a live-action Akira. And I said on my Twitter that, guys, if you think Ghost in the Shell backlash is bad, wait until you see who they cast. No one knows yet. But basically, Akira is almost like, almost like the Star Wars for Japanese people. You're talking about a, an anime and a manga that completely stood the test of time. It really like kind of def the, defines that genre. So for them to never take, seen it. Yeah, but it's 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 um because it's it's from I heard about it. It's I've in never the, seen it. It's in the late the manga came out, you know, late 80s, early 90s, the movie came out late 80s, early 90s. So it's not something that, you know, like you you grow up with, you know. So if you're if you're a hardcore older Asian anime fan, um, you would know that, but for a lot of Japanese people, they read the manga, they they watched the anime, and this is like very important to them. So this probably is the most famous, and it's hailed as the best anime uh, movie ever. All I care about is when they make a Kenshin live action. I don't think they did make a Kenshin live action. What well, Japan made a Kenshin yeah. live action. If we make a Kenshin, or as they call Samurai X live action, <laughs> and they catch like like I don't know, I don't know like uh, who uh, Jason Stratton Stratum. I'd be like, yo, stay yo, them, stay them, <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> so first thing, the rock, be like, the rock oh, yeah. as, as Kenshin, or like, um, uh, um, 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 Zac Efron just got casted as the main guy from Death Note. Uh, is it basically uh, just? Uh, oh, they're making Death Note. Yeah, and Zac oh, Efron. Zac Efron's Death Zac Note. Rot. Zac Efron. Oh my God, kill me you... now. <laughs> write my name in that book, please. Please, people. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But hey, man. Yeah, one hey. thing I want to add, because there's some comments where, like, oh, she's a cyborg. She's whatever. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa here. Then why are they using special effect to make, what's her name, ScarJo look more Asian? Oh, why? That was, that was a huge... I mean, that got more backlash than the actual casting. Because you're... I mean, I look. If you, don't, if you can't figure out what's wrong with that, people, that's up. no one defend that, please. You, you, this undefendable. I, I can't. I can't. But you know, there's you know, even. there's people that are gonna defend it. I can't even. Come on, you're, dude. You're making. Oh, 
whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go. Let's go to our soup dumpling video. We had these delicious, uh, the best soup dumplings. I think so. In New York. Some people don't agree. Whatever. Oh, but a I lot don't... of people do agree with you. Thank yeah. you. Like this guy right here. He who wears glasses says, haha, I've been going to Kung Fu since Mike's video on it. Thank you for watching that, by the way. It's Strictly Dumpling Channel. We we recently went back to Zhou Shanghai. What? Why would you? Which we frequented before we saw Mike's video. I have to say, there's so much worse than Kung Fu Xiao Bao. Thank you. Thanks, Mike, for sharing great places. Don't That's go what to Zhou Shanghai. Don't go to Zhou Shanghai. You will be yeah, disappointed. Swallow that stuff. It's disappointed. Nasty. I mean, I know this place is a little off the beaten path, but come on. It's you, so much better. Especially if you're visiting New York and you don't have a lot of chances to eat good food, guys, you can easily be duped, you know? Tourist traps are all over the place, so that's awesome. Rachel Aaron says, I lived in Shang I live in Shanghai and I have to study away in N N NYC next spring. It's nice to see these suggestions because I don't think I can live without Chinese food. Well, Neither well, Mike we. really can. I uh, can't. I'm uh, starving. I love Chinese food so much. I can't live. I, no, I, you I you can live, live off whatever. Yeah, you, I can live you, off you, you are not a foodie. You are yeah. really not a good foodie. I'm, you, I'm just uh, because yo, I'm a, I'm like a very niche foodie. I'm not like you an over. Could literally yeah. become vegan if you wanted to. You could. I could. Oh yeah. Why not? I could do it. I can't. I mean, I could do it. You cannot do that yeah. and like eat like authentic, I, authentic Chinese food. I'm a foodie about Japanese food, and that's about. That's, that's really yeah, the only really food that I'm not crazy really passionate about. about things. Yeah. Like, you know how many times we went on vacation, you're like, let's just eat whatever. And I hear that, and I just want to smack you on the head. <laughs> you cannot just eat whatever. There's a finite, finite amount of meals when you're on vacation, and you got to make each one of those count. Yeah. Not you, though. <laughs> ramen noodles. Harold Heron says, are you guys joking? Ding Tai Fung and Taiwan stuff. We got a challenge. We got a challenger, bro. <laughs> Go watch my Ding Tai Fung video. You on my went. Channel. So when we first went to Ding Tai Fung in California, this is the last. Yeah. Was it last year? The last year, yeah. We were so excited because I mean you can't stop hearing about it. Every everyone's like, you guys like super Let's go to Ding Tai Fung. We went it's, there. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not it's bad. Not great. Guys. It's just not like well, I don't. Okay, look, I, I get it when people say one of my biggest arguments is that they they don't have much soup inside. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that that xiao long bao in Chinese doesn't mean soup dumplings. Correct. It means a little. Dump, dumplings in a little cage. Yes. Xiao Long is the cage, yes. right? Okay, it doesn't say it has to have a lot of soup inside, but that's how we kind of know these dumplings, right? Because Shanghainese, it's Xiao Long Tang Bao. It's known as that. If you go somewhere else, maybe right. Xiao Long Bao, yeah. like you said, but Xiao Long Tang Bao, it's gotta it's have soup gotta inside. It's gotta have the soup inside. Yeah. I mean, the, the Ding Tai Fung thing, I, I feel like Californians think it's the best because they never had good ones. Yeah, I'm I, mean, thinking, I mean, you guys I'm might thinking. get mad. No, 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 oh, dude, no. I might get mad. I'll tell you guys this right now. Yeah. I, I, I eat this stuff everywhere I go, right? right? LA, San Fran, Taiwan. I'll tell you guys this right now. Taiwan, San Fran, LA, you guys, I've been to more places than just Din Tai Fung. I've been right. to almost, like, I tried. This. You and, guys don't have any good soup. And you guys, went, and you went to Taiwan, you went to Hong Kong. Yeah. You guys, I, I didn't try this in Hong Kong. But, oh, okay. But Taiwan, I tried a lot of places. LA, I tried a lot of like you guys do not have good soup dumplings. Most you can you know how you have a bad soup dumpling? You pull up the picture on the Yelp and it's flat. Yeah. It's like uh, like like shriveled up. It's a best soup dumplings I've had. New York, Vancouver, best oh, place for soup dumplings. So good. But but Ugh. you went to Taiwan, you went to it yeah. because we went and we were like, oh maybe it's better in Taiwan. Yeah. Not not better. A little better? Maybe it was better. a little, a little better. better. A little better. Yeah, a little better. Not not dramatically different. But I don't think that they. I don't think that people should hold them to such yeah. high regard. So before you no. try kung fu, if you only try Ding Dai Fung and be like, "Are you guys kidding?" Then that's not fair because I tried both. I try them first. Also, like, dude, I'm Shanghainese, man. I had the soup dumplings in that in the famous Pavilion Garden yeah. where they make it in front of. Those were those were pretty good. I gotta say, but yeah. dude, I've gr I grew up with a soup dumpling in my mouth. Okay. Anyway, Renny Poon says, I'm eating Shalom Bao while watching this. Good for you. If that was true, then that's awesome. Good to me. They're basically like, oh, okay. sure. And then watching us, like, that's cool. perfect. Snack. Next time, take a photo of you sipping the soup while we're sipping the soup. That would be kind of cool. That would be like a, like a, all right. The inception. Soup well, dumpling did. inception. At our knockoffs video, Aries Weird Channel says, we're watching your videos in Mandarin. What? How? How? That's cool, but how are you doing that? Let us know. You can't uh, leave a did, comment like that did, and then not elaborate. Did someone knock off our video and make it into Chinese? And instead hmm. of the double chen show, like C-H-E-N, they call it a double chen show. 
Huh? How is huh? it? What is, is it the shuang? Right, shuang chen, shuang chen, shuang shuang, shuang xia ba. Or or two chen, two chens. Yeah. So yeah. Let us know. Yeah, Aries. Let us know how you are watching us in Mandarin. CNV videos. CN videos. Don't have a box new. What? Don't mm -hmm. have a box new. That remember Bart Bate Simpson? It oh. says don't have a box new. Because we didn't realize that new was. Oh, new. C? Don't have a box new. Right. So don't have a. Don't have a. Right. Don't have a cow. Cow, cow is new. Yeah. New sounds like new. Yeah, but what's box? But we don't know. That's the inter That's the eternal mystery. Because I figured out the new part. But I can't figure out the box part. I see, I see. Ivan Dong says, it should be Raging Birds. I like that one. That's got a nice ring to it. Mm, Raging, Raging Birds. birds. Nice. Like this it. is from our Mini Girls video, which was highly disturbing, and uh, the comments were very interesting. Yeah. Asia Carter says, they tried this in Korea like three, four years ago and didn't end well for them because people kept saying these are way too young for the K-pop life because it's a rough life. This group will soon see the same end. I don't know about that. I mean, I hope so. I hope so, but I, I, I feel so. like people in Korea are more, way more conscious about this stuff than, than people in China. Yeah. Um, I just don't feel like it's gonna be the same uh, because Chinese people literally like whatever. They're like, they don't consider no. that aspect no. of it. And think about the Korean pop star life. It is really hard, um, but here's the thing. When they're training, when they're very young, it's, they're not being, um, they're training. It's not like they're being exploited at a young age yeah. for money. It's like they know that this is a career path, you know? So um, it's a little different. Okay, so Mrs. Mrs. Ronaldo 713 says, also there is laws in America. For example, a child star like, say the Olsen twins, when they were little and had movies, shows, and music videos, they can't be on the set for more than three to four hours per day or something like that, but we have regulations in the US she's talking about. Also, this story is similar to toddlers and tiaras. It's controversial because they are sexualized as little children and conditioned by their parents to say sexy and plastic for show. So I, want, I, I like this comment because a lot of the people were like, well, this is just like, you know, in America they have um, uh, drag cream, uh, pageant moms, right? Or ti tiaras, okay, folks. It's, it's still very different. Okay, I looked up uh, labor laws. You guys can look up labor laws. They have a list on, on the US labor law for every single state and the regulations for child. It's true, you can be an actor as a child, but there are a lot of restrictions, and if you break them, you will get in trouble. Yeah. There are hour restrictions. Every state is different. So basically, the government pays a lot of strict attention to this, and again, it's not like these kids don't have other lives too. You know, Olsen twins, they, they're, they had a normal life. They just happened to be child stars. Right. So it is a little bit different. Not saying that they don't exploit like Tiara's moms. Like I can't comment on that because I'm not that mom. Um, but yes, that is not very, I personally, I don't like that either. But like you it. can't compare this <laughs> right. to it's different. Chinese four-year-old girls literally being found in a dance class and somebody's like, I'm gonna make you guys famous. Like it's just, in, you can't compare the two. So I like the comment. All right, this is from our parents, Asian parents quiz video. Lady Crazy says, my parents didn't own a Chinese restaurant, but they owned a Vietnamese bakery. Does that count? Yes, that counts. That counts. I would say um, any, yeah, I would say like if you worked at your parents' business, like you were a restaurant kid. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, so. a lot of people have, their parents may have laundromats or like whatever, business uh, dry, dry cleaning, yeah. laundromats, convenience stores. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we should have thrown that in there, but yeah, if you, any kind of stereotypical, Asian yeah. place. We should have put something in there that if they ever exploited you for child labor. Oh, definitely. Because I bet those of you who are restaurant kids like me, you you had to work like pretty much almost kind of like regular hours, part time, like a part time job, and you never got paid. And, and I bet you their excuse was, "Oh, we saved your money <laughs> up for college, and you were like in middle school." You're like, like you was like ten years like, away. Like, can I get a dollar? <laughs> yeah, I, really, I feel bad for you, man. But at least you got free food. Well, yo, free food. There were, there were you should get feed you? Hold on, hold on. Sorry, you should get free food. Oh my god, that was horrible. You should get free food anyways. As a kid. <laughs> you sorry, got free food. Sorry, I'm thinking as an adult. I'm like, oh well, my god. we get free food from the restaurant. No, sorry, you were a kid. You should be given free food <laughs> yeah, by your parents. Okay? I mean, no, I had to pay for my meals otherwise. Hey, yeah, uh, hey dad, you gotta wash the dishes. Can I have some food today? Um, Li Yi Wen says, for the where do babies come from question, I once asked my mom that question when I was younger and she told me she picked me up from the trash can. I hear this from my Asian friends a lot. Is this something that parents say to them? Yeah. That, 
You didn't, oh, you didn't know about the I Asian trash can. Oh, you no. didn't know about this. Okay, but so, they actually say like yeah, you, you know where it came from. So there's a legend about this this magical trash can. Okay. Like from the mountains of Yunnan. No, they told you this. No, and then like this this trash can would, would like give birth. No way. From another dimension, kids would show up. No way, dude. Yeah. They said that. Yeah. I thought they meant like no, you just made that up. <laughs> ah, you just made that up. But she's obviously saying like I just picked he, you up in the trash. You know so little about Chinese stuff. You're just like. Well, my parents never told trash, me any trash, legends, any kind of, trash can? you know what I mean? The most my mom did was, was like... friends with Bonnie? <laughs> yo, yo, you can't be going there, dude. <laughs> but um, but no, like I have friends who, they're like, yeah, my mom told me the same thing. I mean, that's kind of weird to tell your kid like, oh, we got you at a trash can. I mean, I guess in the US, they'll be like, no, you know... it's kind of like making fun of the kids. Like, you're, you're like, yeah. Oh, it's kind of like that. picked you up. You're like, you weren't even anything. You were like, yeah, you're like trash. You're a trashy person. Just kidding. I can't wait till you and I have to have that conversation with our kids. I'm not having kids. How would you do that? How would I'm you not having kids. You can't have kids. I'm not having kids. I would, I wouldn't, you know, some, some of the comments are like, I, I would show them like a book or make them watch education. No, I, I would come up with a really good analogy and then, and then educate them about it. I'm you just know? not doing it. The classic, when, when a, when a mom and a dad love each other very much, yeah. you are the result of that. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. That's, that's I'm taking the Asian way out. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna avoid all awkwardness and just not have it. <laughs> okay, this is from our bubble tea tasting video. Giselle Ann Espinosa says, I seriously thought Cheryl was standing on a platform. Haha, <laughs> how tall is she? She's Folks, tall. She was <clears throat> not standing on a platform. She's really tall. She actually towered over us. She's like six feet tall. Yeah, like 5'11 and a half. And she says she's still growing. Yeah. Yeah. I get I get really, really upset when I hear that because here's me. I wish I could even grow half an inch. And she's like, I'm still growing. Like I haven't grew since I was Yo, 13. Why don't you uh, get some heels? How do you know I how do you know my shoes weren't ordered uh, like from the website where um, you know you can actually I mean, order three inch you can actually order a shoe for a guy that are heels, but you don't I mean, know. look, since your girlfriend already knows you're short. That's right. You it doesn't matter. It, it, doesn't so matter. you can, you, you don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. No, I don't have Who to. Who are you trying to impress? Exactly. Exactly. Who are you trying to impress? As long as she doesn't care, I don't care. Bro. Exactly. Whatever. Her parents might care though. Uh, why me says they must have hell of a diarrhea after filming. We did? No, we didn't. No, because people were, people were also asking like, did you guys drink all that in one sitting? Yeah, yeah we did. We, we went, Guys, we went to every single spot, eight of them, one after another, in that period of time, and we drank a lot of bubble I tea. I don't feel like bubble tea is very diarrhea inducing. I feel like hot pot. Yeah, hot pot is, is very diarrhea inducing. What if we did a hot pot tasting? How no, would that can't. even? You can't even. You could do it. Why? No, you, you cannot do it. do it. How are you gonna do you it? Spend, How are you gonna do you, it? You spend, or you go to a place, uh -huh. you just don't eat that much. Yo, you spend like okay. maybe half hour at each place. What What is the point of a hot pot tasting? Same thing. Tell them about the soup base. Tell them about the quality of the ingredients. Tell them about what's Yo, the but best. But why do you need to do a tasting? No, like this. Like run around to all the hot pot but places. It doesn't make any sense. You're like you know? sitting down like, and you're spending like hot pot, like bubble tea is four, three, four dollars. But see, I, I like. Each like, time we sit down, we're spending a hundred dollars. But see, I, I like the idea of like over killing it. You know, it's, like it's, it's like just not massive, massive great, not Asian thinking of killing you. it. You know, like and by the end you'll probably have problems. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, okay, so Steve NYC on NYC NC34 says, why did you guys not rate Vivi or Coco? So a lot of people were like, why don't you guys go to Vivi, Coco, and quickly? And they were like shocked that we didn't go. Mm -hmm. We didn't go because we don't. We hated them. We don't <laughs> like those places. It's not that we missed it. It's that we actively were like, hmm, let's not. Well, first of all, Coco, everything is watched to me. Like everything's really watered down. Vivi is like the newer one. It's like the pink. Yeah. It's like really cutesy. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we didn't. I mean, and uh, Cha Time actually, one of the places took over the Cha Time, and we're trying to find the newer Cha Time, but we couldn't find it because yeah. We tried, but you know. So we, yeah, we were. It was literally a contest where you're like, yeah, these three, we're just, we're not gonna. Cause, not cause gonna. if you really try to, I mean, there's so many bubble tea places. I mean, we, I was, I was impressed by the amount of places that we were actually able to hit up. Can I just call out Kung Fu Tea for a second here? You're gonna call them I'm out. Call why? them out. Why? Why? I'm gonna call them out. Okay. I'm also why is gonna that? call out Tianyuan. Okay. Call why? these things out. You guys know how hard it is to film in New York City. Oh how yeah. How hard it is. To film in New York City 
you notice that a couple shots we had to do outside. One shot we had to do in a McDonald's. No, we did it twice. I mean, we had to go back to the because same McDonald's. Apparently, apparently, New York City Chinese people, like they're all wanted by some country because th th when they see a camera, they're just like, oh my God, they think they're that... gonna catch me. I've been on the run for the last 30 years. Yeah, they think that we're gonna like report them. To so like... we go to like, some people were like, oh, I read a comment. They were like, why don't you guys just go to the Kung Fu Tea in the basement of the New World Mall? Come on, guys. We, you guys we, think we didn't think of that? No, we were You guys think there. we didn't think of like, yeah. oh, hey, there's a uh, Kung Fu tea here. No, let's just trek all the way two blocks over to the other place. We tried. They, they were basically like, they were like, they were basically treating us like paparazzi and like we're trying to get like this photo of them. Well, no, no, no. They were treating us like, like, their, their Pepsi were Coke. They're like, don't no. steal our recipe. Like, what exactly are we stealing from you guys here? What are exactly, what secrets are we revealing? I'm glad you mentioned that because the next comment uh, from Gut Link says, guys, are you reviewing the bubble teas in their own store? Lol, did you get any side eye? Yeah, you just answered it. We got some side glances, some like side, like get, no, you can't be in here. Like we're bringing you guys business. Come oh on. my God, this is so ridiculous. You know how, oh my goodness, Chinese people, I swear to goodness, like listen, there is a thing, because half of them don't know what YouTube is. You're like, right. hey, we're from YouTube. Absolutely right. You, you, uh, you too? No, 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 YouTube. You too, no. Well, like, seriously, this is advertisement, <laughs> Chinese people. Advertising, free, for you. Maybe we could have told them we, it was going to be on like Yoku or something. Oh my god, it was, I'm a sting of Chinese people. I hear it. Dude, I hear I you, man. Kid you. Thanks for calling. You got to call them out. You got to oh. call them out on that. Uh, all right, last one, guys, from the Chinese Emperor video. This is Xian Lim says, I really appreciate Chinese history's strong emphasis on cultivation and discipline. Thank you. This is, uh, you know, when we make a lot of these educational historical videos. Um, I, Me, personally, I learned a lot from them, and you might have known a lot already. Um, so I'm right there with you, and that's one of the best things I like. Yeah. Um, discipline. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for noticing. Oh, Tiny Fata says, where would the concubines fit into this? Uh, well, there's thousands of concubines, right. and there's also empress. There's like one empress, and then there's uh, there's other ones called. Well, it depends on every dynasty. So, right. like for the for example, the uh, the Tang Dynasty would have um, an empress, mm -hmm. and then they would also have uh, fades. Fades are like the well, upper ranked yeah. uh, concubines, and yeah. then they have the regular concubines. They have a hierarchy of concubines. Hi hierarchy of concubines where the empress would rule basically the empress <gasps> rules hogong which Whoa, means the back, back. court Whoa. so basically all the concubines all that is, is is under the empress and so the emperor doesn't have to worry about anything at home but like right? but but okay so keep going yeah yep. so then there's also called a longong which is if you fall out of favor with the emperor you're you're banished into the longong which means basically your whole life you you don't ever see the emperor you just you're there yet you are still a concubine yeah but, but why you don't, still have a good life why don't they banish you because you're still a concubine. You're oh, still see, like, you're okay. still part of the emperor's family, but you're, you're getting all attention. So like, what happens to those people? They just, the emperor never sees them, ever. But I mean like, do other people treat them bad? No, 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 they, I mean, they treat them bad because yeah. they're like, they don't treat them well, but yeah. the servants still treat them okay. And there's also battles in the back mm -hmm. courts uh, because the emperor, think about it, when he has a son with multiple uh, phase of multiple concubines dude, what happens dude they all want their the mothers all want their sons right. to be the the next emperor so they fight each other and but, like harm each other but technically wouldn't the son with the top empress be no why not not always why not not always that's the that's the you're the first not, empress yeah your not, son should no, be no, next no, no, in no, line no, no no that's not how it works the the sons all have a equal shot at being the what? that's being the uh, being they're the next emperor. They're all vying for the emperor. Yeah, they're all vying. That's why that's why there's so much like backstabbing yeah. going on. I mean, what I mean, why? But like, so so my question is, why create that kind of like opportunity for disharmony? Why don't you just be like, look, guys, stop fighting? No, because the emperor you know I mean? has to decide because he can't. It's just because someone may be the oldest or maybe right. born from a single mother, or whatever he turns out to be a moron. The emperor can't be like, all right, I can't leave my country to you because you're a moron. Yeah, but now you got all these. Well, that's just the way it is. Fighting for the that's just the way it is. Ruler of China. That's just the way it is. It's, it's politics. It's dangerous politics. Would you? Let me ask you. What? What would your like? Would you want to be an emperor or like the general or like the advisor? Like, where would you want to be? No, I just want to be a swordsman. 
go around Jiang Hu performing good deeds with my okay. sword. So not really. So you're just like an outlaw. Yeah, I'm just oh, like okay. uh, do so what you know I want. What? I want to be free. You know what? Yeah, go ahead. Because you think the emperor's life is good? It's not that no. good. It's a lot of stress, a lot, a lot of loneliness because he feels like no one can really understand him. That's why the Chinese phrase mm -hmm. "Gao Chu Bu Sheng Han" was created. Mm, yes. So yeah. the higher higher up you are. Um, you never escape the cold. Uh, yo, you know what I want to be? What? I want to be like... You be one of those uh, uh, eunuchs? <laughs> no, man! I want to be a eunuch. I want to be like one of those dudes that learn everything and teach it to the emperor. I want the knowledge. Hi, sure. Yeah, I want to know everything about history, like the everything, and be the one to educate. All right, all right. Those guys usually turn out to be traitors, but good, good call, Wait, man. Wait, traitors? Yeah, good call. Get out of here. In the legend of the young family, who was the traitor? Tai Shi. Uh, and two Tai Shi was the traitor in that in that series. Okay, scratch that. Wait, 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 wait. What, what about like somebody that just practices music and art the whole time and teaches that to the emperor? Is there one of those guys? I just want to be the emperor's art and music teacher. Not, not, not Tai Chi. I don't want to do anything. Just art and music. Come to me. Come to me. I want to teach you. I want to oh, teach you. Very specific, man. Very specific. Yeah, I, I want to just spend my whole day reading poetry. Wow. Uh, you know, painting. So you're lazy then. Trin. You just want to oh, be a man, lazy guy. Trin, trin, you know. Those guys. Those guys are usually called shushun. They're poor. No, but I, I'm in the I'm in the palace. How do you get to be that person? If, like, I don't care if I'm poor. I just want to be in the palace and just teach the emperor those. Things. Why? Because I want to learn those things myself. I want to have a simple life. I don't want to. What? You, I don't want to go you, around like like chopping people's heads off, like fighting, like man. That's very that's like, very unpatriotic of you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's very scholar scholarly of me. Though. All right, guys. Those are the comments we have uh, for you. Please keep commenting, and uh, we'll get to them. If you have a good comment, we'll get to them eventually. Thank you yep. all so much for watching. Thank you. See ya. Bye.